Be Real Talk, a series of seminars to inspire, educate, and empower us all. We will be covering topics which are affecting our communities with a panel of guest speakers. It's happening. Get involved. Make some noise for Richard Blackwell. A lot of people came here and didn't know what to expect, but you came. Ask real questions, it's called real talk. How can we eliminate this silly postcode warfare? What kind of role models are we being for our children? What was your drive to be in the gang and what was your motivation to like leave, get up and go and not look back? The motivation was it was more looking at the people around me and not wanting to be like them. The fathers are the only people that can teach young men to be men. We need to put aside our issues, our personal stuff, and recognise that the children are the important. If you ask them what they want to do and then support them down that road, you'll find it will change their whole mind frame. If we cut the rates of teen pregnancies in this country, we are going to have more fathers around because they'll be old enough and responsible enough. No, if you want to get to the root of the problem, surely it is to tackle where the guns are actually coming from in the first place. And what we need to do is to try and address the mindset of someone who wants to hold a gun and a knife. That's, for me, the first stage. What makes someone want to carry a knife or a gun and inflict that violence on someone? That's what we need to address. I want to know what is the solution for us to move forward. Rather than we complain to the government about what's going on in our areas and hoping that they'll make changes, we do it ourselves. What if 10 years ago we were dealing with the seven-year-olds, teaching them that, that they could be champions? What kind of 17-year-old we really have today? We've got to stop now relying on others who have done us wrong to correct their wrongs and start trying to fix it ourselves. What we need to do is come together on a positive thing and like build the communities. I'm saying we need to empower the young people and start giving them a chance. As long as anyone can change, which anyone can do at any time in their life, it's never too late. If we was to just put pen to paper and make this an establishment and this an organisation, following on from what Rich is doing, we've got an organisation of people that can go out and meet those young people in the places where they're at. The, the term real talk is really what people should be taking away from this. You saw the enthusiasm here today, you saw people have got so many ideas and I've got inundated with so many people's contact details. I want to be accessible for them to connect with police, working together. From my perspective, the parents really need to start talking to their young people about good sexual health, good sexual relationships, getting the information. But it is about education, it's about the community, it's about the voluntary organisations, everybody coming together, doing some joined up working and giving these young people the opportunity to make uh, a, a difference in their own lives. that everybody's got a voice as I said while it's happening now at the beginning be a part of it from now because this will take off